Hey y'all, today I have a 12 by 12 layout and I'm scrapping a picture of a church that me and my family attended in um, Oklahoma City and it's a Catholic church and we actually um, have a church we go to in Texas here uh, regularly but we were out of town this weekend and every time um, we're out of town we try to find a, a, a mass to go to and so um, I made it a point to take a picture because I want to start scrapping the different churches I go to just because I always find them so awesome uh, leave breathtaking and um, all the different details that goes into building the church is like just I don't know I think as I get older I find that stuff pretty incredible so um, I'm going to start trying to make a point to scrap and no matter where we are in the states or where we are um, in Texas or whatever so I'm starting off by, by distressing um, my edges with vintage photo and I've adhered a craft sheet I took a half inch off the craft paper cardstock on eat on two sides and adhered it down to cream I'm taking um, recollections paper here these few papers right here that I'm adhering down right now that is from a recollections notebook and um, it's trying to mimic the on trend it does a great job by mimicking the on trend collection um, so these three papers that I'm adhering down now are all from that um, notebook that I bought and it was a great deal it was like originally 15 14 15 dollars and I got it half off obviously because I used the 50 percent off um, so I'm ripping papers out of that all the time to use for um, layout so I'm inking up these other edges and these are all Maggie Holmes papers and since I am scrapping a church picture um, I decided um, some vintage, a vintage look um, would be perfect, kind of like a shabby chic vintage look. And the music note paper just went great. The old book paper went awesome. The clouds is perfect. So I thought, why not do a little something different? It is a little out of my comfort zone because I am used to doing bright, colorful layout, layouts if you guys have watched my videos before. But um, I really did enjoy this and I hope that I continue to do more. Um, so I'm just ripping uh, the papers to kind of give it some character and then I'm adding Distress Ink, um, again in Vintage Photo. And then um, this is where I'm going to place my title and then I'm going to go ahead and work on my cluster on this side. These are also papers that were cut from Maggie Holmes, um, Crate Paper Maggie Holmes. And this is some lace that I actually um, brought home from a wedding uh, as her as her I guess when you when they leave as part of the the um, send off she used some sticks with like ribbon tied and we just shook them as they were leaving and so we had quite a bit of those so I thought why not put it to use and just not let it sit around so um, here's some wood grain washi that I think about using but I actually don't end up using it so um, I thought it would go with the layout and it just looked too fake I think for the layout so I ended up using it I'm placing some adhesive down so that I can curl up my ribbon and then um, I'm gonna sew on top of it when I sew it doesn't actually turn out the way that I wanted it to but it turns out just fine like I didn't want it to be perfect so that's kind of why I crinkled, like, crinkled it up like that um, I go back through and put lace on top of um, that cream silky ribbon and then I'll come back later on and sew it down and um, you'll see when I sew it there at the end. These are wood grain type letters, um, although it's kind of a subtle wood grain, I think, and I, I believe they're called McCall, and they're just American crafts. And um, the title of the layout is True Beauty, if you haven't already guessed that. <laughs> and I think, obviously, the title speaks for itself um, for the church that we're at, that we're visiting. Um, these are, that's a Prima button that I've placed up there, and then the and, the ampersand is, um, here's where I've sewn, sorry, uh, is a, an ephemera from, ephemera from Kane Company, I believe. So I'm cutting off the excess sew, uh, thread, and then I'm going to place washi tape over it to keep it in place. Um, there you'll also see that I added some ribbon and, and sewed on top of that as well. Um, Here's where I add the little, an, another ephemera piece from Kane Company, and it says breathtaking, and then I add some more Prima buttons. Um, I did sew quite a bit. I sewed at the top and bottom of the layout. I, to I sewed right where the true word is, and then on top of the picture, and then obviously the ribbon I sewed down. Here's where I'm making some uneven lines for my journaling, and my journaling just says that I love my faith. It makes me who I am, basically. Uh, 
or it defines me. I don't know exactly what I, the words I used, but, and I also said, I love how you can go to any Catholic church in the world and you're reading the same uh, readings as everybody else. So no matter where we are, we never feel like we can't go to church. It doesn't matter what state we're in. Just because we belong to a church back home doesn't mean we can't go to a church out of state or in another country. Um, just because you're going to fit in no matter where you go. Um, so I'm adding some pop dots to um, the word breathtaking just to kind of give it a little pop. And then um, I think I'll add some ink now. I start off with carbon copy and realize it's not dark enough. So I'm going to cover up the places I don't want ink. Um, and I didn't like that carbon copy by October afternoon, so I add um, black velvet Heidi Swap uh, color shine. And then um, I will take a brush and add even bigger globs um, of ink. I was not sure if this was going to turn out the way that I wanted it to just because I've screwed up doing this before. But um, I thought it turned out nice for, for what, I, what I was kind of looking for. And it goes well with the craft paper, I think. Um, so here's my finished layout. I don't think I add anything else. Um, like I said, it was a little out of my comfort zone, but I did enjoy making it and I hope to make more soon and I hope you guys got some ideas on a on a pretty simple shabby chic layout with not a ton of embellishments just some easy peasy things um anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a great week